Hi, my name is Anish and I'm one of the creators of Quilt. Quilt lets you manage data like code and that means that with Quilt you can version, package, and serialize data of any size. Let's see what a sample data package looks like on Quilt. So this is housing affordability data which I've compiled from data.gov and you'll see that each package has a handle and that handle consists of the owner of the package and the name of the package. On the package landing page, in addition to rendering the readme contents, we'll also show you the physical contents of the data package, how to install that package on any client that you choose, and how to inject that package into code. Of course, each data set and each data fragment is versioned. It will show who the author is and when the last push was that took place. So in order to use Quilt, you really need to know only three commands, and they are build, push, and install, and this covers the full life cycle of a package. Build creates the package locally, push stores the package in a central registry, and install then downloads a package from the registry. Let's see how that works. So here, let's start with build. I'm gonna build a data package, acarv slash HADS, and HADS, remember, is this housing affordability data system data. And I'm gonna give it a build spec, which we cover in our documentation on docs.quiltdata.com. And as I type build, what's going to happen is the files will be parsed, they'll be converted to binary data frames and then stored in Parquet. And at a very high level, that means that this data will be available on a variety of systems to a variety of languages in a high performance format. So that's build. And now if I want to store this package in the registry, it could be a public or a private package. This one is private at the moment. I'm gonna quilt push acarv slash HADS. And you'll see that Quilt will skip the fragments that it already has. So both on upload and download, Quilt is content aware, and it won't duplicate any data that's shared amongst your data packages. So we've looked at build, we've looked at push, and now let's look at install. Let's say that I'm interested in abalone data or wine data from the UCI ML machine learning repository. I'm just gonna type Quilt install UCI ML slash wine and this will go out and fetch the data fragments for me. And now, this is where things get interesting, if I want to use this data in code, I can simply type from quilt.data.uciml, which is the user namespace, I can say import wine, and now when I type wine, it's kind of like a virtual directory, and I'm going to look in wine.tables, and if I type wine.tables.wine, notice these trailing parentheses here, I actually have a pandas data frame. So in just a few seconds, I was able to import my data the same way that I import code, and then actually use that data and get started with my analysis. So that at a very high level is how Quilt works. If you have any questions, visit quiltdata.com or docs.quiltdata.com for developer documentation.